Have you ever considered the profound impact of your eating habits on your overall health and well-being? It's a powerful question, isn't it? One that invites us to pause, reflect, and perhaps even reassess the choices we make at every meal. You see, diet and lifestyle play a crucial role in our health, perhaps much more than we ever realized. They are the invisible threads that weave the fabric of our well-being, shaping our physical strength, mental clarity, and even our emotional resilience. In the grand tapestry of human history, cultures and religions worldwide have discovered their unique secrets to healthy living. These time-tested wisdoms passed down through generations offer invaluable insights into maintaining our health and vitality. Take, for instance, the age-old practices from the land of the rising sun, Japan. Their diet, rich in fresh produce, grains and fish, coupled with a culture that values moderation in eating, has led to the nation boasting some of the highest numbers of centenarians globally. And then there are the spiritual traditions, from the mindful eating of Buddhism and the kosher principles of Judaism to the fasting practices in Christianity and Islam and the balanced diet prescribed by Hinduism. Each of these faiths offers a unique perspective on food, viewing it not merely as sustenance, but as a vital link to our spiritual growth and well-being. But the secret to a healthier, longer life doesn't stop at the dining table. It extends to our daily routines with one universal exercise standing out as a potent elixir of life, brisk walking. A simple activity, brisk walking, when practiced daily, can work wonders for our health, enhancing our cardiovascular fitness, boosting our mental health, and even adding years to our life. So why does all this matter? Because the healthier and longer we live, the better our expansion of consciousness. The more we can serve humanity, the more blissful our evolution becomes. Join us as we delve into these secrets and discover the path to a healthier, longer, and more fulfilling life. The Japanese are known to have one of the highest life expectancies in the world. But how do they do it? Let's delve into the heart of the Japanese lifestyle, a world where food is not just sustenance, but an art form, an experience, and a social bonding tool. The Japanese have a unique relationship with their food, one that is deeply grounded in their cultural heritage. The Japanese diet is a beacon of balance and simplicity. It's rich in fresh seasonal foods like fish, seaweeds, vegetables, and whole grains. This diet is known for its low levels of saturated fats, high in plant-based protein, and abundant in vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. It's not just about what they eat, but also how they eat it. Each item is savored, respected, and no part of the food is wasted. Now, let's talk about a principle that is deeply embedded in their eating habits. Hara Hachi Bu. It is a Confucian teaching that instructs people to eat until they are eight parts or 80% full. It's a practice that encourages mindful eating, taking time to savor each bite and stopping before you're completely full. It's not about restriction, it's about satisfaction. It's about nourishing your body without overburdening it. In addition to the diet, the Japanese lifestyle also plays a significant role in their longevity. They have a culture of staying active which includes daily exercises and even walking as a preferred mode of transportation. This lifestyle keeps their bodies moving, their minds sharp and their spirits high. But it's not just about the physical aspects. The Japanese also value mental well-being 
incorporating practices like meditation and mindfulness into their daily routines, which further contributes to their overall health and longevity. So, what can we learn from the Japanese way? It's about balance, simplicity, and respect for food. It's about savoring each bite and not eating to the brink of fullness. It's about staying active, both physically and mentally. The Japanese have mastered the art of balance in their diet, a key secret to their long and healthy lives. Buddhism teaches the practice of mindfulness, even when it comes to eating. But what does mindful eating truly mean? Mindful eating is a practice deeply rooted in Buddhism, and it goes beyond simply paying attention to what we eat. It's about engaging all the senses, appreciating the colors, smells, textures, and flavors of our food. It's about savoring every bite, chewing slowly, and truly tasting the meal before us. In a world where we often grab a quick bite on the run, this practice encourages us to slow down, to sit down, to be present in the moment. It's about turning an everyday activity into a meditative experience, transforming the act of eating into a ritual of gratitude and awareness. This practice also extends to acknowledging the effort that went into preparing the meal. From the farmers who grew the produce to the cooks who prepared the food, mindful eating encourages us to recognize and appreciate everyone involved in the process. It's about understanding the interconnectedness of life and appreciating the chain of events that led to the meal on our plate. What's important to note here is that Buddhism doesn't prescribe a strict diet. It's not about what you eat, but how you eat. The food itself can be simple or elaborate, vegetarian or non-vegetarian. The key is to consume it mindfully with gratitude and awareness. So how can we incorporate this into our own lives? Begin with small steps. The next time you sit down for a meal, take a moment to appreciate the food before you. Savor the aromas, the flavors. Chew slowly. Consider the journey your food took to get to your plate. You may find that your meals become more satisfying and you may even notice flavors you've never detected before. Through mindful eating, we not only nourish our bodies, but our minds as well. As we practice this form of mindfulness, we cultivate a deeper connection with our food and with the world around us. We slow down, we savor, we appreciate, and in doing so, we not only feed our bodies, but our souls as well. The Jewish dietary laws, or kashrut, are not only religious commandments, but also guides to healthier eating. But how? You might wonder. Well, let's delve into it. Kosher is a term derived from the Hebrew word kosher, which means fit or proper. This ancient Jewish tradition emphasizes the importance of cleanliness and purity in food. But it's not just about the food itself. It also encompasses how the food is prepared and consumed. The kosher laws are quite detailed, dictating what can and cannot be eaten and how it must be prepared. For instance, only animals that chew their cud and have split hooves can be consumed. This includes cows, sheep, and goats, but excludes pigs and rabbits. Furthermore, these animals must be slaughtered in a specific humane way. This not only ensures the animal's welfare, but also tends to result in cleaner, healthier meat. Seafood too has its own set of rules. Only fish with both scales and fins are deemed kosher. This rules out shellfish and other seafood which are often carriers of harmful bacteria and toxins. By adhering to these rules, one can avoid potential health risks associated with these types of seafood. Moreover, the kosher laws prohibit the mixing of dairy and meat products. This separation can aid digestion as proteins and dairy require different digestive enzymes 
and can cause discomfort when consumed together. Another important part of keeping kosher is the concept of blessings before and after meals, remedying you to be mindful of our food and to appreciate the nourishment it provides. This mindful eating can help us avoid overeating and promotes healthier eating habits. These principles of kosher, while religious in nature, have clear health benefits. They encourage us to be more mindful of what we're putting into our bodies, to consider where our food comes from and how it's been prepared. By following the principles of kosher, we can ensure that we're not only consuming food that's clean, but also food that's good for our bodies. By doing so, we are one step closer to a healthier, more conscious way of living. As fasting is a central aspect of Islam. But did you know that it also has significant health benefits? Indeed, the Islamic practice of fasting, particularly during the holy month of Ramadan, is a powerful testament to the, the discipline, resilience, and spiritual doctrine of Muslims worldwide. But beyond the spiritual aspects, fasting has fascinating, scientifically proven health benefits that may surprise you. Fasting during Ramadan is a form of intermittent fasting where Muslims abstain from food and drink from dawn to sunset. This practice, spanning one lunar month, significantly impacts metabolic health and weight management. But how does this happen? Our bodies are designed to handle periods of feast and famine. When we fast, our bodies shift from using glucose as a primary energy source to using stored fat, leading to weight loss. This shift also promotes insulin sensitivity, which helps manage blood sugar levels, reducing the risk of type 2 diabetes and other metabolic disorders. Moreover, fasting promotes a process called autophagy, where cells self-cleanse, removing damaged components and recycling them for cellular repair and maintenance. This process is crucial for cellular health and longevity. Fasting also has profound effects on the brain. It boosts the production of a protein called brain-derived neurotrophic factor, which promotes neural health and protects against neurological disorders. However, it's essential to note that fasting should be approached mindfully. It's not about starving oneself, but rather allowing the body a break to rejuvenate and heal. During non-fasting hours, nourishing the body with balanced meals, rich in proteins, healthy fats, and complex carbohydrates is crucial. In conclusion, the practice of fasting in Islam especially during Ramadan, is not just a spiritual discipline, but also a scientifically backed method of enhancing health. It's a testament to how ancient wisdom can align with modern science to promote a healthier, longer life. Fasting, when done correctly, can be a powerful tool for maintaining our health and well-being. Christianity also has a tradition of fasting but how does it contribute to a healthier lifestyle? Let's delve into the Christian practice of fasting, a tradition that holds a significant place in the faith. This practice is particularly observed during the period of Lent, the 40 days leading up to Easter. It's not just a religious ritual, but a powerful tool for self-discipline and a healthier lifestyle. The fast during Lent is not about completely refraining from food. It's more about moderation and abstaining from certain types of food or pleasures. This could be anything from sweets to social media, depending on the individual's spiritual journey. The purpose here is to redirect the focus from physical to spiritual nourishment, a practice that can translate into healthier eating habits this notion of self-denial for a period of time is a form of discipline. It's a way to train the body and mind 
to resist immediate gratification. And this discipline is not just applicable during Lent, but it's something that can be carried forward into our daily routines. In terms of physical health, fasting can be beneficial. It gives our digestive system a break, allowing it to rest and rejuvenate. In the process, our bodies are able to cleanse and detoxify, leading to improved overall health. But remember, fasting should always be done responsibly and under proper guidance. More importantly, Christian fasting provides a spiritual cleanse, allowing believers to focus more intensely on their relationship with God. It's a time for prayer, reflection, and deepening one's faith. This spiritual well-being can contribute to better mental health, which is an integral part of our overall health. Christian fasting is not about deprivation, but about balance. It's about learning to control our desires and not let them control us. It's about understanding our bodies, listening to them, and providing what they need, not just what they want. In essence, Christian fasting is a lesson in temperance, an exercise in self-control, and a path towards mindful consumption. It's a reminder that we must take care of our bodies, our temples of the Holy Spirit, by making healthier choices. Christian fasting teaches us the value of temperance, a key principle in healthy living. Uh, Ayurveda, this, the, the ancient Hindu system of medicine, offers timeless wisdom on healthy living. But what does it teach us about diet and lifestyle? Ayurveda, which translates to the science of life, is all about balance. It emphasizes that health is a dynamic integration of our environment, body, mind, and spirit. One of the key concepts in Ayurveda is Agni or digestive fire. It's not just about physical digestion, but our ability to assimilate all aspects of life, including experiences and emotions. Ayurveda suggests that we should never eat to the point of filling our belly to its fullest. Instead, we should leave some space, allowing our Agni to function optimally. Overeating, it warns, can dampen our Agni, leading to health problems. Ayurveda also teaches us the importance of a balanced diet. It recognizes six tastes, sweet, sour, salty, bitter, pungent and astringent. Each taste has specific therapeutic actions. Ayurveda recommends that each meal should be a balance of these six tastes to achieve optimum health and well-being. Moreover, Ayurveda believes in the concept of prakriti or body constitution. It suggests that everyone has a unique combination of the three doshas, vata, pitta and kapha. And the foods we eat should align with our prakriti to maintain balance and health. Ayurveda also emphasizes the significance of mindful eating. It encourages us to eat in a peaceful environment, to chew our food properly, and to eat at regular intervals. It also advises against eating when stressed, upset, or distracted. Lastly, Ayurveda advocates for a lifestyle that includes regular physical activity. Brisk walking is recommended as it balances all three doshas, improves digestion, and promotes overall health. So, Ayurveda is not just a system of medicine. It is a way of life. It teaches us to live in harmony with nature and our own bodies. It guides us towards a healthier, happier, and more balanced life. Ayurveda reminds us that health is not just about what we eat, but also how, when, and why we eat. But across cultures and religions, one form of exercise is universally recommended, brisk walking. But why is it so beneficial? Every corner of the globe, every faith, every tradition, they all seem to agree on one thing, the power of brisk walking. This humble exercise, available to most of us is a gem that's often overlooked in our quest for health and wellness. 
To start with, brisk walking is a fantastic cardiovascular workout. It gets your heart pumping, your blood flowing, and your lungs working, all of which contribute to a stronger and healthier heart. Moreover, it's a low impact exercise, making it accessible for people of all ages and fitness levels. But the benefits of brisk walking extend beyond just the physical. Have you ever noticed how a good walk can clear your mind, lift your spirits, and leave you feeling refreshed. That's because physical activity releases endorphins, the body's natural mood enhancers. These feel-good hormones can help combat stress, ease anxiety, and even fight off depression. So, a brisk walk is not just an exercise for your body, but also a tonic for your mind. What's more, brisk walking plays a key role in weight management. It helps to burn calories, boost metabolism, and maintain muscle mass. And the best part, it doesn't require any special equipment or expensive gym memberships. All you need is a pair of comfortable shoes and the motivation to get moving. But remember, consistency is key. It's not about how fast or how far you can walk in one go. It's about making brisk walking a part of your daily routine. Whether it's a walk in the park, a stroll around your neighborhood, or even a quick march in place during your favorite TV show, every step counts. In a world where we are often seduced by the latest fitness trends and fad diets, let's not forget the simple wisdom that has stood the test of time. Brisk walking is a simple yet powerful way to boost our health and longevity. So lace up your shoes, step out the door, and embark on your journey towards better health and wellness. Remember, every journey begins with a single step. So what is the ultimate secret to healthy living? You might ask. Well, let's take a moment to recap what we've learned from different cultures and religions from around the globe. We started with the Japanese way, where centenarians attribute their longevity to a diet rich in vegetables, whole grains, and fish, coupled with the practice of harahachibu, which means eating until you're 80% full. This principle encourages mindful eating, allowing your body to digest food better and preventing overeating. Then we moved on to the Buddhist approach, which emphasizes not just what you eat, but how you eat it. Eating in silence, with gratitude, and in moderation paves the way for a healthier life. From the Jewish tradition, we discovered the importance of cleanliness and dietary restrictions, which go hand in hand with the respect for the sanctity of life. The Islamic practice too emphasizes cleanliness, but also the importance of balanced and varied diet, along with intermittent fasting, which has been shown to have numerous health benefits. From the Christian fast, we learned the significance of self-discipline and the cleansing of both body and spirit achieved by periodic fasting and a diet free from excess. The ancient Hindu wisdom showed us the importance of a balanced diet that includes all six tastes, sweet, sour, salty, bitter, pungent and astringent, and the role of food in nourishing not just the body, but also the mind and soul. And finally, we learned about the universal exercise, brisk walking a daily habit that can help you maintain a healthy weight, strengthen your heart, and even boost your mood. So, the ultimate secret, there isn't one. It's a combination of all these elements. Balanced and mindful eating, cleanliness, fasting, and regular exercise. It's about embracing a lifestyle that nourishes your body, mind, and soul. The path to health and longevity is not a secret. It's a journey and it's one that we can all embark on starting today.